What's going on everybody? It's your boy Malik at Malik's Water Garden. You're tuned into my channel, Malik's Water Garden. This is the water garden you're seeing all around me. And uh, today we're gonna update you on something I did for the whole day. I went to Tails and Scales and I picked up a bunch of fish. Well, what I ended up doing was I had uh, Teradyna shrimp, which is crystal red, crystal black, Thai bees and Thai Thai bees. Um, and I took, uh, how much did I take? 500 shrimp. So 300 or 275 crystal blacks and 200, a little over 200 crystal reds and 25 golden bees. And I traded them to Tails and Scales, which gave me about a little over thousand dollars, let's say. And I took most of it in store credit because I wanted to buy a bunch of stuff. Uh, I still have like almost $700 left at the store, which I am buying uh, my L173 Zebra Plecos, a group of 10 is ordering in for me. So that's going in towards that, that $700 is going in towards the L173 Zebra Plecos. Um, but I did end up picking up a bunch of new fish, which you're seeing behind me right here. These green neon tetras are one of the fish I picked up today. Um, so you will see all the different fish I picked up and uh, me putting them into tanks and all that good stuff. And also I'll, I try to put some b-roll footage of the different shrimp that I, I took to uh, Tails and Scales so you can see the quality of the shrimp that I'm producing uh, for some of these pet stores located in Toronto. And if you are in Toronto, please feel free to go to Tails and Scales at Dundas Street West. I'll put the address down below so you can go and pick up some of the shrimp that I bred at my house uh, at my facility, Malik's Water Garden, uh, at Tails and Scales. So I highly recommend you go check out Tails and Scales and pick up some of the shrimp that I bred, as well as the other fish and other animals they have. They're a huge selection, reptiles, snakes, um, amphibians, geckos, skinks, frogs, um, live food, all kinds, uh, terrarium supplies. I mean, you name it, this place is massive. It's like a, a bigger than the, a, a small zoo, I bet. Uh, they have a separate room in the back with like a huge snake area. They, they house snakes for people. They uh, have snake sit. So if you're going on vacation and you want somebody to take care of your snake for a few weeks or a few months, or if you don't have a tank that you can keep the snake in for a few months while you're moving, whatever, you can definitely give them a call and they will house the snake for you. You can visit them and all that good stuff. So that's uh, a part of the services they provide. They also have a new fish section which is managed by Harold Slater. Um, you should check him out, he's amazing. Go, go say hi if you're ever in the store and the owner of the store's name is called Nelson. So say hi to him as well if you're in the store. Uh, go spend some money and pick up some of those shrimp that I bred that is available at Tails and Scales. What's going on everybody? It's your boy Malik at Malik's Water Garden. I just got back from Tails and Scales at Dundas Street West and uh, I dropped off a little over 500 Teradyna shrimp for them and I got uh, over a thousand dollars for that sale I took it in store credit uh, and I ended up picking up a bunch of uh, fish so we're gonna unbox all the fish that I got and see what we got and uh, I also picked up some tanks uh, some used tanks for a dollar a gallon so you'll see those as well it's nothing really fancy I got two tens and a 20 and uh, a 215 longs a 10 and a 20 gallon tank uh, but this is the, the highlight of the trip. So we're gonna see what fish we got and we're gonna decide where we're gonna put each fish and uh, go from there. So the first bag we have here are uh, green neon tetras. These guys are very delicate. There's 50 of them in here. Um, they are $2.99 each. Um, I'm gonna have to drip acclimate them because uh, they are going into a tank that has 5.0 pH. You can see them right there. Um, and uh, they are from low pH water originally, but these guys were kept in 7.2 or 7.4, like Toronto tap water. So I'm going to move them into a, a bucket and start drip acclimating them. So that's those guys. Um, next up. We got 25 of these, um, what are they called, uh, rainbow shiners. So there's one bag, 
a fighting 12. Um, so that's the rainbow shiners. There's another bag of rainbow shiners in there, so we're gonna get those next. Which is these guys right here. Um, so that's another bag of rainbow shiners. Uh, I'll get B-roll footage of these guys after they're in the tank, so you can see them. We got 25 or 20 actually. She didn't catch 25, so I asked for 25, but she gave me 20. So we got 20 rainbow shiners. We got 10. SEW003 Sevilla Loaches. So these are called Hillstream Loaches as well. This is the SEW003. I got a breeding group of 10. Um, so that's going to go in the tank to quarantine. Everybody's looking really well so far. Uh, what else did we get? We got a group of 20. Um, pork chop rasboras, gold harlequin, which are two ninety nine each. So they're gonna go in this tank here. Um, what else did we get? We got ten auto sinkless catfish, which are gonna go into this tank over here. Um, I'm gonna try to breed those guys, so that's why I got those. I have uh, larger ones, but having more doesn't hurt. We got a group of Epistogramma. Um, I think these are Viejas. No, not Viejas. What are they called? The uh, Panduro. Nice and I. So these are the Nice and I. I got two females and a male. So we're gonna put them into a tank to quarantine. And we also got a pair of, or two females of Apistogramma. Um, forgot the scientific name, but I have these. So these are the triple red, not the cockatoides, the other one. Um, Agassizii. So there's two females in here to add to my group uh, of Agassizii. I have a pair. So those are the fish that I got. I also bought some river rocks for the Sevilla loaches and an additional shrimp net which I needed pretty badly good thing I used this bucket inside my uh, what is it a doji and gabbana bag yeah yeah doji and gabbana bag so this bag is like six hundred dollars and uh, <laughs> I did not want to get it wet because it's leather inside and it's nice stuff so. So I got uh, shrimp net and methylene blue. So those are the different things that I got. Plus, I will show you the tanks really quickly. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch the video this far. That's the update I have for you guys. This is my massive fish haul that I had today uh, on the 18th of January 2020 from Tails and Scales. You're actually looking at my uh, whale tail angelfish pair. They just spawned like two days ago. Um, I think the eggs are gonna hatch uh, very soon. They look, they all look viable. Um, really um, amazed at this pair. And uh, so just wanted to add that real quickly into the video. So um, thank you so much for watching this far. Um, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please take the time and subscribe. Hit the subscription button down below and hit the notification icon so you get updated when I upload new videos. Uh, I upload pretty frequently. Um, and uh, also, please, if you like this type of content, please hit the like button. If you don't like this type of content, you can dislike this video. Please share down below what you do for quarantine. I'm making a video for quarantining and also for acclimatization of fish. Uh, I, I suck at that word acclimatization yes there we go acclimatization of fish so when I acclimatize fish uh, what I do so I'm making a video of that please make your own video or your own comments 
on what you do and how you acclimatize your fish when you get new fish in um, and how you quarantine also um, please feel free to go down and check out my other videos and as always thank you for your support I love you all I will see you guys tomorrow God bless